We're here at the Eurovision Song Contest the Press Center in Vienna. Hello, Mr. Horacek. Hello and welcome to Vienna. We are very glad that you're all here. Thank you very much. We remember you last year in the Green Room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in Copenhagen. <laughs> Can you maybe tell our listeners and viewers the feelings of the Austrian delegation while the voting were announced? In the Green Room, it was uh, incredible. And I think if you watch it again, then you can also see uh, how it went. Um, when they announced on stage, uh, we did our math, we have a winner, and, uh, it's no secret anymore. We didn't really hear it in the green room and we were just sitting there and then there started the confetti rain and that took like those three seconds and you can see it on the video where we all are just looking like this and then we start ah. <laughs> and yeah then we realized when the confetti rain started that okay I guess we and Conchita won it. <laughs> yeah. So. What is going on actually after the songs performed at the press winner press con conference taking place? What is the delegation do? Are you uh, celebrating on your own? Are you going back to the hotel? Actually, um, right after it, you know, already the winner's press conference stopped at 2 o'clock or 2.30. Yes. Then Conchita had her appearance at the Euroclub because she wanted to sing again for the fans and for the journalists and for everybody who made all this possible. She insisted to go there. And then after this was over, I think it was four o'clock in the morning, and we stayed, part of the delegation stayed for one more drink, but really just <laughs> one. And then we went back to the hotel, got our suitcases, and at seven o'clock we went to the airport. <laughs> so, <laughs> So no time to sleep. <laughs> no time to sleep. And when we arrived in Vienna, you know, there was this yep. big welcome for Conchita with those 5,000 people wow. at the airport and the big press conference and everything. And at least for me, it was six o'clock at mm -hmm. night when I got home and back <coughs> and was able to sleep. And uh, in your mind, did you have already uh, some ideas about the preparation of the competition? No, 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 no. no. Um, I mean, of course, you always think well how would we do it if we had to do it and yes but um, actually not on this very day That's, mm. but we started very soon with all of the preparations it was mm. not even a week later we already the core team and executive producer Edgar Böhm went to Geneva to talk to EBU and to, so we really yeah. started working on the song contest directly after Conchita's yes. victory. So what is your exact function this year? I'm head of press of um, the host, host broadcaster for the Eurovision Song Contest 2015. And what is your opinion about the entire organization here in your country? Well, as I'm part of the organization, I hope that it's good. And at least so far, um, what everybody tells us, everybody's happy. <laughs> and you know, we always tell people, but don't just tell us you're happy because you, want, because you think that we want to hear it. If you, there is anything uh, that bothers you, tell us now, because after the 23rd, we don't want to hear it, because then we can change it. And if you mm. tell us now, we can change it. Okay. Uh, but so far, I guess, um, we didn't have any big complaints, and mm -hmm. um, that sounds for me like we mm -hmm. did a good job, the whole organization team, yes. Is there anything innovative, something that uh, previous uh, hosts haven't done before that you're trying to deliver this year? Well, that's a very difficult question. It's maybe in the small things that you have. We wanted to have a very Austrian uh, press center. Mm -hmm. We wanted people to know that they are in Austria, to know that they are in Vienna, to not be in a press center that could be anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted to have a little entertainment, to um, have small things that we would have wanted to have the last years. <laughs> and. For example, this photo wall, right, when you enter here for the press conferences where every artist can go and have his pictures taken mm -hmm. and those little things, yeah, mm -hmm. and I think that the sum of those little things maybe make mm -hmm. it special. <laughs> and of course, as organizers, you know all of the entries. Do you have a particular favorite this year? You know, Austria is a neutral country and <laughs> <laughs> as the organizers, we are also, uh, they are all great and everybody deserves to win. That's the best answer you could get. <laughs> <laughs> well, many congratulations for a great uh, staged event. And I have maybe one more question. One more question here. How many people are involved in the setup of this Wiener Stadthalle and uh, for the Eurovision this year? Oh my God, do you mean like how many people? The volunteers, the technicians, all together? Yes. and all together roughly. All together, including volunteers, security, um, 
the press and the event team and everything. Well, I guess you're way over 1,700, more like 2,000. Wow. But yeah. that's on the show days, not. Okay. Yeah. okay. That's like the maximum. Fantastic. Thank you very much for hosting Eurovision 2015 and good luck for the rest of the, of the Eurovision week that's coming up. Thank you very much.